what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today's video is one that a lot of you guys in the comments have been requesting and been wanting for me to do on my 2019 camaro and that is try a different tune that is right guys for those of you guys that are new to the channel new to this car this is a full NA max effort car. It's got ported heads, cam, full bolt-ons on E85, along with a very nice nitrous system for the icing on the top. But from the very beginning, this car has been tuned by Pat G. And I gotta say, before we even go any further, Pat G has done an amazing job and I have no bad words or nothing bad to say about him. He tuned the car and the car performed very well. As you guys saw, if you haven't in the street races that I went to Mexico in, the car performed very, very well and did really, really good. At the track, it was another story, but a lot can be said about the stock stall and the bigger cam that I have, which is causing a lot of those issues. Now. A lot of you guys in the comments posted that the car should be running a lot faster at the track and you know basically saying that it wasn't running the way it should and I agree with you guys. The car ran an 11.3 at 128 miles an hour NA and from what I've seen online and seen everywhere this thing should be running at least in the low 130s NA with the setup that it has. Now the cam is a stage 2 cam by Pat G but that cam for it to work very well at the track really needs a stall guys without a stall we're not going to be able to see the very very best times that this car can run but on the street where the stall is not as important you guys saw what it could do with pat g's tuning the car runs great runs really really strong but i decided okay you know what let's try and switch over to another tuner one that you guys have recommended and that is brett over at prey performance Prey Performance, if you guys know, is a pretty much the premier Camaro tuner for the 6 gens. These cars with the direct injection Gen 5 engines are a lot more difficult to tune or to dial in, a lot more difficult to dial in and really get the most out of them. So Brett seems to have figured it out and gotten a lot of stuff dialed in and I can't wait to show you guys the results. I've already gone through and dialed this thing in with Brett and first impressions of what we're dealing with Brett over at Prey Performance is that Brett was given the bone stock ECM file along with the bone stock transmission file and just the mods list, the cam specs and all that. And we had this car dialed in within two revisions, which is really, really impressive. That is really really fast guys he had this car dialed in and running really good with just two revisions so that was first of right off the bat very impressed with his ability to do that it shows just how much knowledge he really has on these cars and i gotta say the car does feel better but we need to go ahead and test it so today we're going to go ahead and get the draggy load up pat g's tune that the latest pat g tune we had before the prey tune Go do some drive, talk about the drivability, how it drives, do a nice quarter mile pull and basically see the times and the slip for Pat G's tune. And then we'll switch over, put Prey's performance tune and do the same thing, talk about the drivability. And at the end, I'm going to give you guys my personal honest opinion on the different tunes and also show you guys the real world data on the same day of the difference between the tunes in terms of track performance. And also check it out guys, I have <laughs> continued to build along on this wrap and this is something that I've always wanted to have, my own brand, my own shield logo. Looks really cool, I have it both on the driver's side and on the passenger side. And we will be putting a third one right here in black. So all that is basically kind of building upon the base layer of the wrap and really should make this car stand out so first up pat g's tune we're going to load it up on the car go for a drive and show you guys the draggy results and talk a little bit about the drivability let's go ahead and back out here and backing out it's actually very jumpy 
I mean, you guys can probably see it in my hand. Like, it, it's pretty jumpy moving back and out. At first, I thought that was just something, you know, because of the big cam and having the stock stall. Very, very light acceleration also can be a little jumpy. But other than that, this car drives very well. I mean, once you're cruising, I mean, part throttle driving is really smooth. No big issues there. The, and you can see kind of like the hesitation there in the stop and go. But I always chalk that up to just bigger cam, no stall. All right, let's do a quarter mile run. Another thing, guys, is this car, the way that Padgy has it set up, it loves to pop when I let off the gas. So it, you can make this car throw pops all day long. Now, I don't know if that's something, I haven't really tested out with the Praise Tune to see if it'll still pop the exhaust the way that Pat G's does, but there's a chance that it might not depending on their strategies and how they have the tune dialed in. So we'll just have to wait and see. We just loaded up Prey Performance's tune. And one thing I will say right off the bat is with Prey's tune, guys, the car does idle a slight smidge higher, about 850 to 900 RPM, but it actually makes this car a lot smoother. I mean, just sitting idling here, the car is not shaking and baking or doing anything like that, which is really good. Um, so I'm really happy with that. and. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse and show you guys just how smooth it is. You don't have that same bucking feeling that I used to have with the previous tune. So just on the initial impressions, even just getting out of my driveway, it's so much smoother. You don't see any bucking. Now, I do have to have the foot on the brake a slight bit more because the car is a little bit higher RPM but I'm not dragging the brakes or really like smashing them to the ground. I mean, it's just very smooth. And the initial takeoff is also a lot smoother. I think a lot of it has to do with the way that it is idling just about 100 RPM more. Um, so the car tends to have an easier time launching. Dr car drives really smooth and Prey has his thing set up in tour mode, so pretty much you can be in touring mode and the car is going to be at its best optimal position. So when we go to the track, we'll be running it in tour mode. And you guys can see here, even the the turn here compared to the Pat G's tune, just taking off is a lot smoother. The car drives great, smooth. So now let's see how it does in the quarter mile. We stop completely and we go. different very different oh man and go Wow. 
All right, guys, so let's talk about the comparisons here. We've got the car back, and here we've got Pat G's quarter mile run, guys. Now, 60 foot was a 1.91, 4.95 seconds to the 330, a 1 eighth mile in 7.38, which is basically 7.4 at 101.6 miles an hour, and a quarter mile in 11.19 or 11.2 at 129.3 so 129 miles an hour that's actually a pretty decent time for being on the street uh, the car did spin just a little bit but then hooked right away and 129 is about what we were averaging when we were running other days but today in today's day 129 is what we got now let's look at Brett's prey tune and show you the differences so 60 foot 1.89 so very very similar 60 foot but I also did just ease into the throttle, guys. I didn't floor it because this car was showing a lot more power. Um, definitely putting down a lot more power off the line. So easing into it, a 1.89, 4.84, a little bit faster than 30 foot. But then check out the eighth mile, guys. 7.2 at 103.8, 104 miles an hour. So pretty much three and a half miles faster to the eighth and almost two tenths faster to the eighth. That is impressive. And then our quarter mile, 1098, so basically 11.0 at 130.7 miles an hour, which is about two miles faster in the quarter and two tenths faster. Just on the same day, same everything, guys, and just easing into it. So that should be, that's more than enough proof of pre performances, tunes, and how good those cars run and how he's able to get the power that he gets. Now, and also guys, the biggest difference here is right there in the 40 to 100 miles an hour, guys. So numbers one and two are praise tune, three and four are Pat G's tune. So we've got a 40 to 100 in four, in pretty much five seconds with Pat G's tune and a 40 to 100 in 4.5, 5, 4 point, so four tenths faster pretty much four tenths faster 40 to 100 now imagine we were already doing amazing on the roll races i can't wait to see what this thing's going to do when we go back to mexico and run a few more cars it's insane so there you have it guys for those of you guys that are on the fence about brett over at prey performance tuning your camaro look no further because the proof is right there guys now, Pat G is a great tuner. His tune did really well on this car. You guys saw the Mexico runs. This car is running very strong, but Prey just knows how to work with these direct injection engines and how to get this dialed in even more because it is very impressive that just tuning alone, and you guys saw pretty much the same timing was running what it's running. If you guys have a Camaro and you want to get one of the best tunes out there for it look no further than brett over at prey performance not only in time wise guys the, the power but also just daily driving it you know a guy knows how to tune a car when you give him something that's very heavily modified like this and he's able to get you the dialed in tune perfectly in just two revisions so hopefully this is something that i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be in the comments telling me i told you so and i i get it but there's still nothing against Pat G, guys. Pat G has been around the industry for a long, long time, and he definitely knows his way around tuning engines and being really reliable with their tunes. And he will probably be the one tuning my Denali. When it comes to the LS 4th Gen, Gen 3 stuff, definitely, definitely, I would recommend Pat G, hands down. He definitely has that dialed in. And even more so if you've got a 6L80, like the truck does there. His transmission tunes for the 6 speed automatics is bar none the best i had great experience when i had the g8 and i'm sure other people will too but for the gen 5 specifically this gen 5 lt1 and even the 8 speed or 10 speed transmissions look no further than brett over at prey performance anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit the like button and share comment down below let me know what you think and i can't wait to get this thing back to the track and see how it will run with the new tune.